The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we? So grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript in the box. The chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Whoever had the artifacts would access sites of great power. What does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. 
I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. Then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. Almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. And a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Get the maid sails into the wind! Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafour nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wooded friends. Captain? I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Shay. Eh? Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, the Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. They also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye, he sails his very waters. And he there may he is. have the Most fortunate box. timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! You must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't these blockheads go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Our target is smaller. Yeah, we What he's doing in these waters is beyond. Maybe he came here to meet someone. He's around his near pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. Well, he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? Get him out of the way. Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. Ready here! The ice is breaking away! It worked. 
way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune will be. But do not waste time for congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. It's an ambush. Halfway you see the other half Smith must not escape. He hoped to be a spectator of your demise. I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. Wickedness is this! Another Templar tactic. You can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. near that precious box. I'll take care of this.
regret this. Think about what you're doing, assassin. Your brotherhood is using you. <laughs> this cannot be. <laughs> no! Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript. And all shall be revealed. Precursor box. Smith's dead. Well done, Che. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Ligure Fou. We'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Killing him was necessary. But... But nothing. Smith was a dangerous man. A Templar. What's worse, he had the precursor box. You should be proud of yourself, Shay. Perhaps. We should head for Albany now. James Wardle, the fellow Lawrence Washington gave the manuscript to, will be there. The Sigawasi reported that James Wardle rooted out many tribes from their ancestral lands. We have proof that he's behind countless massacres. He's one of the most devious and ruthless men in the colonies. He uses the letter of the law to serve his purposes. And when the law does not bend to him, he gets lawmakers to bend it for him. Mark my word, Shay. James Wardrobe's a bureaucrat. He doesn't care how his actions affect others. Hide them down together fast. Anchor away! 